Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Maasai Mara, as they say. And, uh, well, I don't know where they say it like that. We're sitting here with a number of vultures and storks, all of them feeding on the hapless carcass of a zebra that has not survived the migration season. My name is James Hendry. Bring the camera over here. Bring the camera over here, Manu. There we go. Well done. My name is James Hendry, as I was saying. Manu is on camera. There we go. There's Manu's, uh, well, bejeweled thumb. Now we can go back to the vultures. And you can talk to us, of course, using the hashtag Safari Live. And then we also must tell you that you can talk to us on the YouTube chat. If you would, like. if you, we do go live on Facebook, you can talk to us on any of those uh, comment sections on any of the pages that we broadcast to. We'd love to hear from you. Any questions or comments would be wonderful. Now, what happened here is we think that the zebra was injured by a crocodile and then managed to escape from the water. Came over here and obviously dropped dead at some stage. Has not been discovered by a quadrupedal predator, so no lion or hyena has found it. There are lions quite close by. We'll go and have a look at them very shortly. Uh, there are some herds of wildebeest uh, sort of toing and froing through this area, not quite as thickly on this area as we were as they were yesterday. We're round about where we saw Scarface, the big male lion, yesterday. He is around here and he's still with that pride, so I'm going to go and see how hungry they are in a little while. And Catherine, you say, wow, so many vultures. Yes, indeed. And I must confess that I think the vulture population in this part of the world is much healthier than it is down in South Africa. Uh, certainly, this reminds me of what I used to see in South Africa and what we seldom see anymore. The one thing that you won't see in South Africa, of course, is the collection of Rupel's Griffin vultures, which are the sort of mottled ones. They've got mottled backs and beautiful sort of honey yellow beaks. So there you can see the mottled ones in amongst the white backs. And the white backs, of course, are the more common normally, and certainly the most common there in uh, South Africa. All right, we're going to go and see if we can find the lions, see if they're hungry, and see if they're going to be worth sitting with for the rest of the night. Uh, if not, then we'll move on from there. But while we do that, I believe Byron, the beefcake of the South, wishes to say hello to you.